I am Dr. A.N. Vaidishiran, Director and Senior Consultant in Oncology, Kaveri Cancer Institute, Kaveri Hospitals, Alwar Pet Chennai. We are proud to tell you that we have started BMT programs in our hospital. Today, I am going to talk to you about Total Marrow and Lymphoid Radiation, TMLI, which is a new concept of treatment of radiating the marrow and the lymphoid tissue tabulate the cells in these areas. When do we do TMLI? TMLIs or total marrow and lymphoid radiations are done for refractory AMLs, people who undergo bone marrow transplantations or BMT. Now, before telling about TMLI, I would like to state that previously we were doing total body radiation. The total body radiation dis disadvantage for this technique is that we are radiating the entire body, including the structures, that is normal structures. In TMLI, which is total marrow and lymphoid radiation, not only we radiate the marrow and the lymphoid tissue, we are able to selectively spare the normal structures in the body, namely the lung, the heart, the oral cavity, the kidneys, etc. So when you are selectively trying to radiate only the marrow and the lymphoid tissue, you have a better tolerance for the radiation and a better ablation of the marrow. This is a part of the program of the BMT because in a BMT, we have to ablate the marrow. That's the bad cells which are in the marrow have to be totally destroyed. And the new cells are incorporated into the system or infused into the system of the patient by an allogenic uh, blood collected from a donor and reinfused into the body of the patient or into the marrow of the patient. So new cells are formed during the next process when totally the entire marrow has been destroyed with all the bad cells. How do you go about this process? It's a very cumbersome process. It's a very time consuming process, which I will tell you. Patient is selected according to the nature or discussed with the medical oncologist or the hematologist and hemato-oncologist and the radiation oncologist. The patient selection is being done. Patients with refractory AVLL who want to have a bone marrow transplant as a second line of treatment are selected. Patient lies down in this kind of a special backlog. It's called a whole body backlog. It's totally different from the regular backlog. The, that is the leg of the patient. The entire body is immobilized and also the head is immobilized. So the process is the entire body of the patient is totally immobilized during the process of this treatment. Why? Because when there is a movement, you may miss the areas of the marrow and the lymphoid tissue because you're selectively treating a small structure in the marrow as well as lymphoid tissue. Now, looking at this, we do a CT scan, the entire CT scan of the body. And after doing the CT scan, we draw the critical structures. What will be the structures? The marrow and the lymphoid tissue has to be drawn. Not only that, we have to draw all the organs, namely the heart, the brain, the lung, the kidneys, the stomach, liver, spleen, everything is drawn. So when the idea of the whole technology is to radiate selectively the entire marrow, destroying the marrow and the lymphoidal tissue. We deliver it twice a day for five days, something like 1500 centigrade we deliver over a period of 10 fractions. This is the idea of the treatment. And during the process of every treatment, we will check or verify the entire body. You can't treat the entire body in one stretch. So we have to divide the body into various sections. So we have about five to six sections of body being divided and each section, the arc or the machine rolls down and treats the patient. Before treating the patient, the verification is done and the matching is done so that the precision of first field and the second field is absolutely matched. Otherwise, you may get an overdose. This is the distribution of the patient where this color represents all the area to be radiated. This is the anteroposterior view and this is the lateral view. Treating the entire marrow and the lymphoid tissue. This is how the patient is being positioned and the machine rolls down 360 degrees to treat the entire patient. As I was telling you, we have divided the patient in various sections. First section, second section, third section, fourth section, fifth and sixth section. So six divisions have been done for the entire patient and each division or each portion is matched with the other so that exact matching takes place and overdose doesn't take place. This is how the rotation goes on. So the entire treatment takes about nearly one to one and a half hours is the total duration of one treatment. So looking at it, morning one and a half hours to two hours and evening one and a half hours to two hours depending on the situation. So patient is lying down in this couch, the machine is totally immobilized, 
machine rolls for a 360 degrees angle, goes through the entire treatment from the head to the foot. That is the concept of total lymphoid and marrow radiation. Very tolerable to the patient, very encouraging results with BMT, especially refractory ALLs. We have started this program and we are proud to say that we will be in the future, we will be having a large amount of patients being treated with TMLIs. Thank you.